Hi everyone, um, I'm kind of taking a break from my scheduled videos. I'm actually doing an Indian meal tonight and I don't think I've done any recipes on how to do Indian cuisine and it's one of my favorite cuisines to cook and if you have the spices on hand it's a pretty affordable way to make a really tasty vegan dinner. So if you hear that noise in the background that's my coffee maker, I'm making coffee to keep me going. Um, but yeah, this is my new kitchen. I have a bar back there, which you could use as a table, I guess, but I'm just using it as extra stuff. We have a brand new fridge um, and a brand new stove. I've never had one of these glass top stoves before. It works really nice. Um, so yeah, we're really spoiled. We have brand new appliances. Um, the dishwasher isn't brand new, but I love it. I haven't had a dishwasher since high school, so pretty pumped about that. On to the Shana Marsala, which is what we're going to be making. Um, I'm adding potatoes. You don't have to do that. Technically, Shana Marsala is just um, curry chickpeas with tomatoes, but I'm adding potatoes in to make it a little bit more hearty. Um, so this, these are just um, five red potatoes cubed, and then I have half of a larger red onion. You see back there, I have my garlic, so um, five cloves of that. I have um, a can of diced tomatoes and a can of peas. I'm boiling the water for the potatoes and I got some brown rice simmering up in there. So yeah, I'll come back when I, I get more stuff going. Red potatoes, I think they taste really great. Um, they're affordable. They seem to be more tender than other potatoes like russet potatoes. So. And they're, they make your food budget stretch really far because <laughs> they're really filling. So for brown rice, I do double the amount of water since I don't do instant rice. So this is brown organic rice that I got from my grocery store. Um, I'm putting it on low heat if you can see that there. And I'm keeping the lid covered. And I'm going to... I like to cook it that way because I think that it makes the most tender, fluffy rice. If you try to cook it too at too high of a temperature, um, sometimes the rice gets really tough and hard or it doesn't cook all the way through. So I find the best way to cook is just to give it a little bit more time, um, put it on low heat, cook it low and slow. Um, it usually takes about 40 minutes to cook brown rice. It, it takes a little bit longer than white rice, but it's worth it because it's got more nutrition in it for you. So. Um, Use brown rice if you can, organic if you have the money. Um, that same pan that I had the potatoes in, just to save on cleanup time, I put about a tablespoon of vegetable oil down the bottom, and I'm going to try to caramelize these, um, meaning I want to bring out the sweetness of them. So I set that to low, and I'm going to keep stirring this. Now, the trick is you don't want it to get golden or burned, you just you want it to lightly cook lightly simmer until it gets its natural sugary flavor, caramelized flavor, and um, that takes about a half hour. I have a little bit of extra time since I'm waiting for my husband to get home, so if you have a little extra time, it's a nice step to caramelize your onions. It just brings out a lot more flavor um, that uh, without adding a lot of calories or anything. So I got my cilantro chopped up, and I've added my spices. I added um, my can of peas, my can of tomatoes. I had um, about a can of chickpeas left over from when I made them earlier this week. Um, so I just used them in this recipe. Um, I added salt and pepper to taste. Um, a little bit of lemon juice, about a tablespoon of lemon juice. I added teaspoon cumin and I'll add all the ingredients and stuff in the down bar that's the thing with Indian there's a lot of spices in Indian cooking so I'll make sure to write all that stuff in the down bar for you guys so I don't say it wrong or tell you the wrong thing and add the cilantro in there the rice is all done it's delicious and I'm going to add the potatoes that we boiled into the pan that's the thing with Indian food, it's really just up to you what your flavor preference is. I like mine to be kind of stronger flavored, so um, it's really just up to you what you like. So yeah. Indian cooking is not that complicated, you just have to have spices and be adventurous and try your best and have fun with it. Okay, that's all stirred in there now. You can see that. And I'm going to let this simmer for probably another... 
um, 10 or so minutes just so the spices have a chance to work their way into the potatoes and just kind of meld together nicely. Um, I love Indian food though you guys like this has so much flavor it's healthy it's delicious it's beautifully colored if you can see that um, the turmeric and the curry powder really gives it that nice yellow color I really like this brand called Roland pure Indian Madras curry power powder but pretty much any curry powder will work um, you want to make sure it's decently fresh but this has if you can see that it's not focusing well, anyways, I'll read it. It has coriander, turmeric, cumin, salt, fennel, chili, fenugreek, garlic powder, cassia, curry leaves, clove, and spices. So that's a lot of stuff in there. Um, but you get the pre-made curry, curry powder and you don't have to worry about making your own.